coming to rest. All I'm asking, where is bro Emeka? Emeka has gone out in search of a job. How many times am I going to answer this? No, Mom, I don't like what is happening. I don't like it. Why has dad refused to give him the 30 million naira he promised to give him to establish his own business? Huh? Why? Can you listen to yourself? 30 million. What do you know? Eh? See, Amaka, the present situation of this country is so bad. Things are very hard. To raise 30 million naira is not here. He has to be patient. Your father, I know, in a due time, he will, he will raise the money and give to him. Mom, when will that be? How long, Bremeka? Enough! What is your problem? Eh? I said, what is your problem? Didn't you hear me? Are you deaf? That your father will raise the money and give to him at, in a due time. And you are here giving me a deck. Please go, get, get inside. Well, you do I said you should go inside. Well, Bremeka has suffered enough. You should do something. Come up now. He never has sought on do you know what 30 million naira is? In we for 30 million naira. Babe, I've suffered. I've suffered so much. This country is so hard and very tough. Do you know that ever since we came out from the youth service, I've been jump hunting. I've submitted my CV to all the companies that I know, but until now, none have called me. I'm, I'm, I'm just tired. Okay, look at my father. The money he promised to give me till now, I'm still, I'm still begging him. He keep on promising, promising, promising. Up to now, I've not gotten the money, nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm tired though. I'm tired but, though. Mm -mm, don't say that. You can't be tired. You can't be tired of being a man. I know you're going through a lot, but you've not even been here for long. Do you know that there are some people who graduated four years ago and they are yet to find a job? But they are still pushing and they are still alive. Look, honey, I don't want you to give up. Hmm? I know what it took my father before he could secure a bank job for me. So things are not easy out there. Hmm? It will never be my portion. Amen. Amen. It will never be my portion. Amen. It's not your portion. I think I have to talk to my mother when she comes back for something very important. I hope it's something good. Yeah. Something good. something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That reminds me, what of your job search? Have you been able to get any? Mom, no, none. There's no way I'll get a job and I'll not let you know about it. You know, to get a job in this country is so hard. Very, very hard. A lot of companies are now sacking some of their staffs just because they could not afford to pay their salary. It's too bad. Is there any company that is trying to offer you? Yes. Not really, probably not yet. Mom, can I ask you for something? What is it, sir? Like I said before, to get a job in this country is so hard. Very, very hard. And I'm still hoping that that gives me the money I requested for. Okay? And I... I've decided for us to go and see Uncle Sopo Uchuku. You see, that's not a bad idea. But the problem is that to get him, to see him in this country, you know, that's the problem. But don't worry, I will call him on phone to know when he will be around. 
then I'll tell you. Oh, this is exactly what I want to hear. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. <laughs> Why is it that any time I walk along this plaza, I must stop and focus on this plaza? All my attention, my focus will be on this plaza. Looks as if something is always drawing me to it. And I must find out that special thing that draws me to this plaza. I must find out that special thing that draws my attention to this plaza. It's okay, brother. Thank you so much. I will let him know. It's okay. Thank you. Hey, Mom, please come, 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 come. Mom, what is it again? I'm already really late to where I'm going. Hey, hey, you have to cancel where you're going. Back again, is it? For what? Why should I cancel where I'm going to? There's a good news for you. Which is? My brother is back. I just finished talking with him on phone now. He said that I should tell you to come and see him immediately. Really? Yes. You mean he's back for real? Yes, just to go there. Well, I'm going there right away. Right away? I'll Please. see you. All right, see you rush, right rush. Good luck. Thank you, Mom. Let me rush. <laughs> Is this a joke or what? Could what that man say be true? That my own father is so rich that he is richer than Chief Sopo, Sopi Airline. And I don't know. Does it mean that my father and my mother are hiding something from me? Because I asked him to give me 30 million naira to set up my own business. No, no, I must find out. see him. You didn't see him? No. Why? Mom, 
he, he told me to ask uh, to ask you to come. Mom, I want to ask you a question. And no, no, I want an honest truth from you. Question? Yes. What is it? Mom, I went to see your brother in his office while I was sitting down there waiting at the reception. A man by name Barrister Johnson walked in and saw me and asked me a question. What are you doing here? I told him of my mission there. He was surprised and said, maybe you're here to mock Chief Sopo. I was surprised. I, was, I said, sir, what are you talking about? He told me that the man I came to see, that's my own father, is richer than him. Eh? Yes. I was shocked. Uh, wait, uh, let, me, let me get you clearly. Uh, you went to my brother's office. Yes. And the man by the name... Uh, Chief Johnson, uh, Barrister Johnson. Barrister Johnson. Yes. Walked into the office and saw you and started talking, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Richard or what? Are you sure the man is not mistaking you for someone? No, mom. No, because he called me by my name and said, Are you not Joy's son? So, someone that called me by my name and Joy, my mother. I mean, that person must know what he's talking about. So, my father is that rich. And no one seems to tell me. No one cares to tell me. See, I, I don't understand what that man is saying. I don't understand it. Okay, let me ask you. If your father is richer than my brother, why would I send you to, to him to, 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 to ask for help? Why would I do something like that? Do you know me for such character? Eh? Mom, I am confused. I don't even know who to trust again. I'm so confused right now. If you need who to trust, trust me. Yes, trust me. Uh -uh. How can someone from uh, anywhere put an asago or borrow? Eh? It doesn't work like that. See, let me tell you. Your father is not rich. He's not poor. He's an average man who can put food on his family's table. Yes. Just be patient. Whenever he gets the money you ask him of, he will give it to you. Don't allow any worthless man out there to bring confusion on your head. So that's the reason you went to my brother's office and came back without seeing him. He? Opportunity that calls once, you misused it. No problem. Let me enter inside and rest. Uh -uh. How can anybody say something like that? Honey, I don't understand. You mean somebody said that to you? Yes. Ever since I've been thinking, you know, the barrister was so serious and mean when he was saying that. And um, I told my mother and she practically told me that she doesn't know what the man is talking about. Mm. Yes. She said that my father is financially okay and can put food on our table. Mm. You can compare my mother's statement towards that man. Yeah. Do you know what it means that someone or somebody is richer than Soapy Airline? To an extent that Soapy Airline answers the person, sir. Honey, it's, it, this is really hard to believe. But are you sure the man knows what he's saying? Exactly. Maybe he's mistaking you for someone else. Exactly what my mother said, but he called my name and also mentioned my mother's name. This is, this is serious. It's very serious. My love, see, if I finally find out that what the man said is true, that my father is rich and they've been hiding it away from me, 
I'm going to do something stupid that they will like. Honey, honey, don't do that. Honey, no, don't do that. I'm not expecting this from you. I need you to find out the truth first. Rather than threatening everyone. You need to stop. Okay? I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. It's okay. So why don't you come in so you can greet my parents? No. I can't do that now. I'll, I'll do it next time I come. Please. You know my mom too well. She won't be happy that you came around and you didn't come in to greet her. You're my girl. You're my love. So go ahead and defend me on that. Please. Defend me. I'll do that when as I come. I'll see them. Okay. No problem if you say so. Just take a of this now. Mm -hmm. And do not let this bother you so much. Okay? It's okay. I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. My regards to her. Call me, okay? I will. <laughs> Sorry, madam. Madam, I know they. Them try to go village. Since when? By yesterday. Okay, you can go. Yes. Hello, Joy. I came to your house and I've been knocking. Nobody's answering. I suddenly bumped into your gate, man, and he told me that uh, you all travel to the village. I hope all is well. Your husband wants to give a mecca his own portion of land. He has already done that. Please, when are you coming back? Okay, I'll see you when you return. How much do you know that? Yeah. Brother, we don't understand this question. I don't understand you. All I know is that he's our father and he's a nice man. Why are you asking? There is something going on. There is something that is hiding from us and mom is actually protecting him. You don't notice? Okay. You remember I asked that of some amount of money so I can start up a business for myself. And up till now, he has not given me that money. I'm still waiting. Then I told mom to connect me to his brother, Uncle Sopolo. So I went to his office to see him. Then I met a man, Barrister Johnson, who saw me and asked me a question. He said to me, what are you doing here? I told him what I went there to do. He laughed. He laughed at me and told me that the person I came to see, that my own father is even richer than him. I was shocked. He said I should go, that he would not listen to me. I, hey, like, I don't understand how our father is richer than the man. I came back and I summoned the courage to call Uncle Sopolo. Uncle Sopolo told me the same thing that Barrister Johnson told me in his office and even said more to me. I was marveled. Uncle Sopoli even told me that prominent men that matters in this country, even the president of this country, comes to the office to visit that. Hmm. But, brother, if all they said about that is truth, that he's that rich, why has he not given you the money you've been asking from him since? And why are we still living in this house? We all are supposed to be moving on convoy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
compared to all these things, what are we going to do? What's the solution to the problem? Should we confront more? Wait, wait, wait. Not yet. Let me, let me think. Ha! I think that's all. Ordinary school fees have not even paid. I said, shut up, let me think. My sister, you are highly welcome once again. So how is your family? Everyone is okay, my sister. Fine. So what do I offer you? There's drinks. You know, your favorite food is here. Or oh, raw soup. Man, I like it or I like what? We will eat a drink later. When I'm done with the reason I'm here. I hope there's no problem. Mm, there will be no problem. Only if you understand things the way I do. Flora, oh, 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 how do you mean? Oh, I don't understand. You know, the last time I came to your house, you said you traveled to the village and you sounded somehow. I don't understand. I still don't understand. How did I sound? You made mention of your husband, son, land, and all that. Oh! <laughs> Flora, my sister, my husband and I and the children, we traveled to the village. My husband, Went to show a maker and then um, Paul, his junior brother, the land that's supposed to build their houses when they're ready. And he has already done that in the presence of his brothers. Really? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Your husband gave a maker a portion of land where he will build when he's financially stable. Exactly. What is wrong with both of you? <laughs> Since you don't understand tradition, let me educate you. Please answer me. Is Emeka your husband's biological son? That you left your ex-husband when Emeka was two and you trained him does not give you the right to deny him from his biological father. Please, I will advise you, take him to his biological father or I will have no other option than to do that myself. Flora, you are insane. You are crazy. You are out of your mind. Just try that. Try it and see if I will not kill you in this town, despite you and my sister. Is that supposed to be a threat or what? Call it whatever you like. Just try it. Now get out. Get out! Truth is bitter. Emeka back to his biological father. If you fail to do that, I will be forced to do it. <sighs> My God, I am finished. What, what, what do I do? What do I tell Emeka? Oh, oh, oh. This, this useless sister of mine. What, what, what do I do? What? My goodness. that smooth I mean I saw you person you've been angry what is it I mean as far as I'm concerned you lack nothing you're comfortable you're okay I mean you're rich so you shouldn't be in that smooth if you ask me 
You're very wealthy. You have fleets of cats. You've got estates scattered all over this country. You have me, your sweetheart. You have our children. So why? Why this mood? Ah! I can't forget what you told me some time ago. That you've got money. I mean, to the extent you asked God not to bless you anymore. That he should bless other people looking for money. That's to show you are excessively rich. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, you are 135% okay. Believe me. So why then are you in this mood like all those church boys that are still looking for peanuts from God? Are you done talking? Now, what do you mean by, am I done talking? Did I say anything wrong? Does what I said not make sense to you? I'm asking you. Ha! Huh. What is it, baby? house okay good are you alone perfect please uh, I would like you to accompany me to the market I want to pick up some things sorry I, I don't have strength to drive I would have come down to pick you up okay I'm waiting for you in front of my house please come and pick me up all right. Ifoma! Ifoma! Oh, please take care of the house. I'm going somewhere, okay? Please. Messi, is there a problem? You don't look happy. Even your wine? Come, 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 come. Tell me, you were the one that initiated this meeting. You called me on phone and told me you would want to discuss with me. I made myself available. That's why I'm here, waiting for you in my house. Thank God my wife is not around. Brother, you are a rich man. One of the richest men in the States. You have made many people millionaire. You have helped many come out of poverty. But anybody you help in our family, starts having one problem or the other and the money will just vanish like that. Brother, I don't know what is happening. I don't just understand what is happening. No member of our family is financially buoyant. I'm not talking about myself and my family. We are financially okay. But what I'm talking about our brothers, George is just an airport taxi driver. Godwin is in America doing nothing. Okechuku is useless. Brother, what do we do? My sister, Missy. Honestly, I'm worried. Uh, 
it's a situation I found myself and it's very difficult for me to explain. I am not happy that my family members are suffering all these things you just said. To tell you the least, I am the most unhappiest person on earth today. But it's a situation that is way beyond me. I can't help it. Oh. Messi, of all our siblings, you are the one that I confined in. You are so close to my heart, you know it. So, let me kind of confess to you. It is my wife that lured me into this mess. She introduced me to one satanic occult group on the pretense that they will give me protection. I, I foolishly followed them, not knowing that it will get to this extent. You see, when I remember all this, I feel sad. Because among the conditions they gave me, is that none of my family members will partake in my world. I am really sad. Very, very sad. But just like I said, it's, it's something that is way beyond me. Can't help it. So your wife lured you into this and she keeps pretending as if she's a good wife. That she wants the progress of her husband's relative. Just look at our brothers. The ones that had the same father and mother with us. They are all useless. What do we do? Mercy. My greatest regret in life mm -hmm. is bringing that woman into my life. She ruined me. I wish I can turn the hands of time. I miss my former wife and my son. Honestly, I want them back. I want them back. Honestly, Kama is really dealing with me for abandoning my wife and my son. But it's okay. It's okay. Here we are. This plaza again. You mean you know this place? Of course I know this place. Whenever I pass here, I used to feel something. I think there's something about this plaza that I'm yet to know. You know, I don't know what I 
normally feel as if there's something special about this plaza. You mean all this while this thing has been happening to you? Yeah. Whenever I'm passing here, I must stop and stare at this plaza. Blood they say is thicker than water. What do you mean by that? That blood is thicker than water? You see, what I'm about to tell you will shock you. If I don't tell you this and leave this earth, no one will tell you. Not even your own mother. Okay. You see that man you're living with? Ugoque, my father? Somehow, yes. But he is not your real father. What are you talking about? I don't understand. My dear, if your mother gets to find out that I've told you the truth about your biological father, she will not be happy with me because we've been having a problem because of it recently. Auntie, are you... I don't understand. What are you talking about? Wilson Obaka, the owner of this plaza, he owns this place. His office is also here. Wait. So you have to make out time to come see him. Are you trying to say that the name you just mentioned now, Wilson Obaka, is my biological father? Yes. And owns this place? Yes. And he also has an office here? Yes. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, I'm sure. Let's go. Then, what actually happened between the man and my father? That question should go to your mother. She is the right person to give you the details. All I need now is direction. All I need so much is help. Situation, I am confused. Oh, who will tell me the future is bright? Nothing can stop you, it can only take some time. You will fulfill your. But, Wilson, I don't understand what's going on. How can you give Onyeka 15,000 now to start with a business? Whereas you are helping outsiders, making them millionaires. Now I want to ask you, what has our family member done to you that made you sworn never to help or raise anyone financially? Why do you hate us with so much passion, Bro Wilson? Why? Vincent, you talk as if you have forgotten my policy. I don't put money in business for any member of our family. I've said it times to that number. I don't. If any of our family members wants to study, even be at the highest level of scholarship, I will put in my money. I've said it. I've said it. Wow. I can see how you're deceiving yourself, Bro Wilson. Oh, yes. I can count about 57 people that you've helped outside. Some of them are importers today. Some are into productions, producing different kind of things. Some are into business of buying and selling. I mean, why can't you do the same to some of our family members that want to do so? Why? Even if you want your money to train in the university, they, they are out and they can barely feed themselves. Myself, as his own brother, I've been working for you day and night. How much do you pay me? 18,000 now with families. Where is your conscience, Wilson? Where? You said you don't raise your voice in my office. I'm a peaceful man. See, you will not understand. And you may never understand. Of course. Just go back to your office. Of course. What you're saying in the nutshell is, uh, my word, it's not relevant. But I want to tell you that I do understand something. Yes. You only want yourself to be the rich man in this family. And you want us to always come and worship you as a god. But I'm telling you that in no distance time, God will raise you. A millionaire in this family that will even be richer than you. Mark my word, and it will happen. Well, let's get it. Vincent of Jada. But now, I am the boss of the family.
So these people are right when they say that my father is so rich. Richer than the owner of Sobi Airline. But why is my mother hiding it from me? What is going on? I've not seen you for hours now. It's like a went to such a job. I want to see a friend. Oh, you're welcome. You don't look happy. What is the matter? Yes, mom, I'm not happy. And that's why I've come for us to talk. Okay, I'm listening. Mom, I need to know the truth. And nothing but the truth. Is Ugope your husband, my biological father? What kind of a question is that? Oh, mom, this is not time for play. There's time for everything. Is he my biological father? Why do we? Why are you asking? You want to know, mom? Yes. Okay, I'll tell you. Remember the other day I went to your brother's uh, office to seek for a job? And I told you I met a man, Barrister Johnson who told me about my father. Two days after, I called your brother. He said the same thing to me, even the things that Barrister did not tell me. Then your sister, Aunt Flora, took me to one mighty plaza and told me that the owner of that plaza is Chief Wilson Ubaka, who happens to be my biological father. Mom, is that true? So this is it. Flora, my stupid and useless sister, had the guts to take you to the owner of that plaza, that useless man, that heart heartless evil man. She had the guts to take you to that place. Now listen to me. On no account should you ever near that plaza. Talk more of seeing the useless owner. It's a warning. Why is she behaving like this for, for, for Christ's sake? Madoka. Now, what is the meaning of this? By the way, how did you people get into the second gate? I'm asking you. It was the man that took Where'd you get the man? If you nod your head one more time, I will deal with you. Have I not told you, Ichi, not to step your foot on this premises with your son begging for money again? Now, what is all this? Ichi, what is it now? Can't you be considerate? Why are you begging my husband money all the time? Must my husband be the one to give your son money to start off business? I'm asking you! Now, what is this now? Okay, fine. If my husband keeps lavishing money on you people, the question is which one will he use to take care of me and my children? Are you not human? Enough for! Oh! Enough of this, Beggy Beggy! Listen, I'm respecting you because of this, your red cap. That's all. Otherwise, I would have pushed you and you would hit your head on the wall and die. Of course. Um, our wife. Who is your wife? But why are you talking to us like this? Eh? 
are you talking to us like this? Your husband, our brother, gave my son an appointment to come today to collect money. And that is why we are here today. Oh, really? My husband gave you an appointment to come today. He gave my son an appointment. That's why I said, let me come. It's all right. I am not aware of the appointment. Besides, the person that gave you the appointment to come today and beg for money has traveled. That's to show you he bring you forward now. What do we do now? Eh? Because my son has been in the house for a long time doing nothing. Yes, eh? I've been doing nothing. You should be ashamed of yourself. For a very long time. Let me advise you. Go to people's bank and ask for a loan. Of course, they will give you a loan to start a business. Of course, they will give you. Then please, don't be offended. Where can we locate the deposit bank? Oh, just go to Old Oja Road. Hmm? You will see People's Bank and they will give you a loan for a business. Get out! As you can see, I'm on my way out. No. No. Let me see you people here again. The frock I had. Peggy, Peggy. Where is that stupid woman that calls herself my sister? Where is Flora? Where is your mother? Hey, hold your feet. Auntie, is there any problem? Don't ask me silly questions. I cannot entertain it. Call your mother for me if she's around. She's inside. Go and call her for me. Just get out of my presence and call your mother for me. Get out. Nonsense. Flora. Why did you take my son to that useless and heartless, wicked man that calls himself Wilson? To the extent of even telling him everything about him. I want you to understand that the man you're referring to as a wicked man is your son's biological father. I did the right thing, telling him about his biological father. Why do you want to deny him the right to be with his father? Don't you have respect for tradition? Flora, you have been a fool since childhood. Till today, you are still a fool. A fool at 40, a fool forever. I agree with you. I am a fool that knows the right thing to do. I promise you, you will regret what you have just done. And let me tell you, my son can never, ever, in any way, reconnect with his real father. I, Joy, have spoken. And so shall it be. I am happy that your son is now a grown-up man and you cannot stop him from being with his father. So when you finish ranting, you leave my house. By the time I am through with you, you will understand that I am your senior sister. If you finish ranting, leave. Honey, I can't believe those people are right. When they said that the man you're living with is not your biological father and that your father is wealthy. Like was me, I was so shocked when my auntie took me to that plaza and told me everything. I was shocked. So, what about your mom? Have you asked her? I comforted my mom. You need to see her reaction when I told her everything. She warned me and asked me never to go near the plaza anymore. My mother really warned me, you know. My mother told me that my father is a very heartless and wicked man. Oh, I mean now she shouldn't tell you those things. So, what do you want to do? I will go and see him first thing tomorrow morning in his office. Okay. And what if he denies being your father and says you're not his son? Oh, he's not going to do that. I mean, looking at me, full-grown man, knowing that I'm his son, and reject me, no. I know he cannot do that. I hope so too. I wish you the best of luck. 
Thank you so much. I need to rush back to the office. Come on, drink up. Cheers. Cheers. Where is Kiko's back? How do I know? How do I know? We want to hold on to do something for the people's bank or whatever. From beginning to the end of the street, searching for the people's bank, we could not see any. We even asked people around, they just looked at us as if we, we are insane. Uh, at that point, I, I looked at ourselves and said, Are we really insane for allowing that woman to use us? Huh? No, but so, the, the whole of this thing is just sound so funny. And so annoying. It's a left for me to ask you. And so this that you just leave your real thing and that is what you want. Yes, that's how they will behave. But the question is, I don't know why they hate our members like this. I don't know why. If it's an outsider that I need take money from them, they will gladly give even more than enough. Why are they doing that? Why are they doing that? No matter. Let me shock you again. Onyeka went to Ron Wilson that he needed money to start the business. At least maybe like five million to start. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm He gave Oyeka 15,000 naira to start up a business. What? Not even 3 million naira. 15,000? 15,000 naira was what promised he gave to Oyeka. Out of 5 million. 15,000 naira to start up a business. I think, as we are saying with Oyeka, you know him better than I do. Of course. He is a ritualist. He is. Because the way he behaves, and most especially that he's a big one. Can't you see that? They virtually refuse to help any of our family members. I said, if it's an outsider now, he will give them money, even excessively. The other day, Samus was telling me that someone came to thank him. An outsider that he helped came to thank him that he had just completed his new house and bought another car. An outsider? Yes, ma'am! Then he's a family member, he's not a family member, he will refuse to help any of us. Yes, now. Huh? Even myself, as is his younger brother, I've been working for him day and night. How much does he pay? Mm -hmm. My salary is 18,000 naira with families. That's what uh, with the pay is monthly. 18,000? Yes. So wait. You mean, Wilson is paying you 18,000 naira a month? Yes. That's the monthly. Not minding your, uh, you, have, you have a family. Ha. And you work from Monday to Sunday. 247. No allowance. No. And I am not want to. Where have you seen allowance? I didn't see it. So, uh, brother, see, I will give you a transport fare back to you. Please. I'm so sorry for all the inconveniences and everything. One thing I know for sure is that Bro Wilson and his wife, they will be looking for each other. Somewhere without telling me. Mom, am I a kid? Can't I go anywhere I want to go? Uh, please, uh, that's not what I mean. But you should have told me. Eh? Uh, let it not be that you have gone to see that wicked man. To Mom, please, I'm not in the mood for this now. I'm not just in the mood for that kind of talk. I will see you later. Chukwe, uh, Chukwe, Flora, Flora, if Chukwe Maker ever reconnect with that wicked man, eh? I will never forgive you. You are my sister, but I will never forgive you. Hmm. Hmm.
hello send him in Thank you, sir. I don't want to sit. I'd rather stand. You'd rather stand? Mm -hmm. uh, well, your insistence means something is bothering you. So who are you? And why do you want to see me? Sir, are you my... Are you Chukwu How did how did you how did you know? Oh, oh. my son might be far far away, but it lives in my memory. How, how can I forget? My son, come on. to us. What has my mother done to you to deserve this? Nothing. Nothing, my son. Mm. So how is your mother? My mother is fine. My dad is fine. My siblings, they're all fine. I, I, I mean, my stepdad, they're all fine. Your office is beautiful. Thank you. So how is your family? Your wife, your children? You need not to ask because you are meeting them today. From here, we are going straight to my house. <laughs> going home with you today? Of course. You need to meet your siblings. Fraternize with them. I mean, reunite with them. <laughs> Dad. Why did you separate with my mother? It was a long story, my son. Oh, your son. Yes. Why have you abandoned me? Yes, I hardly see you these days without you minding that I will be missing you. I understand you're missing me, but am I your love that you're missing? We well, son, you know that I love you. So please, don't do this. Chris, you have to understand something. I'm a married man and I love my wife. Just get it, understand it. Since the day you gave me that money, I haven't been able to get you off my mind. I've been thinking about you always. I can't even sleep. It's Please, understand with me. The money I gave you just to solve your problems is a normal thing anybody can do for anybody. So it's not a problem. Wilson, I love you. I really do love you, okay? You know I love you so much. I love you too, Christy. But please, let's stop this. I'm married. Wilson. Look at me. 
look at me. Wilson, I saw everything. So this is what you get around doing, chasing girls here and there. Baby, it's not what you think. I can explain. And what explanations do you think you can give me? And you, what are you doing with my husband? Madam, please, you're embarrassing me. Ah, you even have the mouth to talk back. Please, Joy, just talk. Holy day! And I'm talking on you. What did you say? What did I say? Come here, Joy, stop and this. Just, 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 stop this. Stop this. Stay away from me. Come here. You are back. What was the meaning of what you just did out there? I was protecting my husband. Really? You were expecting me to sit here and watch you sharing me with another girl? Joy, what is your problem? You are my problem. Now let me ask you, what relationship do you have with that girl other than sleeping around with her? Let me tell you, the next time I will catch you with her, do you know what I will do to you? I will bath you and I will hot water. Keep trying me in this house, you see what I will do to you. Joy! Joy! Oh, oh welcome, honey. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. How was the journey? What? Well, thank God. What about Papa and Mama? Well, they are fine. Oh. It's just that uh, they are not happy. Yes, they are not happy. They stayed for a long time. You've not bothered to see them at the village. So they said I should tell you that by this weekend, they're expecting you to come around. Must I be traveling to the village every two weeks? Besides, they should be aware of the fact that I lost my job when I came back from prison, all because of you. And I can't be traveling like that. I am finding it difficult to get another job. Because any time I go to look for a job, once I get there and they ask me why I was sacked from the bank, once they realize the reason, I keep losing the job. How do you expect me to be happy and I keep going to visit them? Sweetheart, so you're right. You have a good point. But you have to know that the people we are talking about here, they are my father and my mother. I mean, your father and your mother-in-law. Yes. And so? And so? Are they more important than my job? Please, they should leave me alone. I want to be alone. The people you are referring to, they are my parents. Yes. So you have to prepare. This weekend, we are traveling to the village. And what about our son? Yes, of course. We'll go with him. Honey, after this weekend, I am not going to the village again with you people until I fix myself. Please. I'm the man here. I decide how to run my family, not you. By the way, where's my son, Emeka? He's sleeping inside. Good. Okay. So. Papa, honestly, I'm not happy. I'm highly pissed off. My wife is no longer the woman I married. She has changed. Every day she causes problems from one problem to another. Every day, every time. Papa, I'm tired of this marriage. Well, I understand how she feels. Any man or woman who loses his or her job is bound to be on edge. Everybody around them becomes an enemy. That is the truth. Listen, I will advise you to fix her up, get her a job, or better still, look for a substantial amount of money and uh, let her start a business. She will have peace of mind, and you too will have a peace of mind. Remember, she made you with the grace of God. She made you who you are, and because of you, she went to prison. Don't forget that. It's okay, I've heard you, Papa. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. I will see what I can do. Yes, yes. And where is that stupid girl? Joy! Joy! What is it? Kebono! What is it again? Hmm. Mama. Can you imagine? I instructed her last night before she went to bed okay. to wake up early enough this morning to pan the fufu we will eat this morning. But she didn't do it. Okay. I am the one yes, doing yes. it in the kitchen right now. Mama, why are yes. you shouting my name this early morning? What's the problem? Hey! Oh, you are talking to me in this way. Eh? I don't think that your mother gave you enough home training to be a nice housewife. I don't think so. Mama, please, oh, I will take any insult from you, no problem. But you see you talking to my mother anyhow you want. I will you, never... What? Will you shut up your mouth? Why are you talking to this way? Eh? So you are not stupid enough to talk to me like this? See your wife, oh. Honey, you are here and your mother just smoked. Eh? Who are you, honey? What do you with that? Stop this, stop this. 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 Stop this, stop Try that out, things. My way. 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 Yes, you are to be your sister. Will, will your mother be, be, be insulting her? Huh? Are you insulting like, your, your own mother like that? Papa, you're supporting this girl. I'm not supporting anything. I don't, I don't want to support no, anything. Okay. Just get up. George, where do you think you're going with my son? Carry your bag. Wilson, I am going back to the seat. I am tired of all this men. Joe, you are very wicked. You are very wicked. My mother is at the hospital dying, caused by you. Simply because she asked you to help her pound fufu, which you will also eat from, you refused. All you could do is to carry your bag that you are going back to the city. Instead of you to go to the hospital and know how she's faring. Joe, you are very wicked. Wilson, I am not going to the hospital to see anybody. I told you before that I'm not coming to this village, but you refused to listen to me. I did not know you have plans with your mother to kill me. See, this plan will not work. Was that the reason you pushed her down and broke her waist? Now listen real good. You must go to the hospital and stay with her until she gets better. That I will never do. I will not. Joy, if you dare me, this marriage is over. That's all. Oh, so this is your plan. I knew it, but I was not paying attention. You want to go and carry that idiot you have been sleeping around with, right? That's the person you want to marry. And your mother indirectly wanted to kill me so that she will allow you to bring her into the house. We also remember, I was in prison because of you. I lost my job because of you. And all you can do to me is to go around with your mother committing all these atrocities and being wicked to me. Wilson, I do not have words for you. But all I can tell you is that God is watching you. Joy, bring back my son. Don't go anywhere with my son, Joy. He is my son. And it's also my responsibility to take care of him. Have a good day. Bring back my son, Joy. He is my son, too. Joy! Joy! Son, okay. I thank God that your mother is okay mm. due to her carelessness. But we thank God for her health. I've heard what she told you. You should leave your wife, Joy. Don't listen to her. Joy is your wife. Let no one come between you and your family. Not even your mother. Listen, there is no relationship, in fact, no marriage that does not have its own ups and downs. What makes you a man is your ability to cope and manage your family. Do you understand me? It's okay, Papa. Your mother was so stubborn. So, so stubborn. I mean, she doesn't seem to understand advice 
words of advice. All these things you've explained now, is there enough reason to separate from her? Uh, I mean, love is based on understanding. When two partners agree to be one, understanding matters. But when they don't, the sacrament takes the center stage. Your mother was so hard to please. She doesn't seem to understand simple words. Caution! But your mother let her recovered from the West Bank. Well, uh, yes, but not long she passed on. Uh, are you married now? No, not yet. I'm not married, but I've seen whom I want to get married to. You know, she's my we are schoolmates and we, we served in the same place. Ah, I can't wait to have my son's fiance around me. No one comes up. Thanks, Dad. There's no problem. I'm okay. I'm okay. You don't look okay. It's written all over you that all is not well. What is the problem? Talk to me. I'm your husband. It's okay. It's okay. The thing is that um, there's this my customer. She's owing me and she promised to pay me today. And I've been calling her number. She's not picking. Eh? And I need that money now, 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 now. I need the money. She's not picking. Uh, don't you think it's network? Try her number again. I don't think it's network because the number is ringing but she's not picking. But don't worry, let me, let me try her again. Uh, that is better. Yeah. That is better. But, but where is the maker? Since I came back, I've not seen him. Okay, he went out since morning. Since morning? And he's not back up to this time. Honey, you don't have to worry. Don't worry, maybe he went in search of job as usual or maybe one of his friends' place. He's a full grown man, he will come back. Oh, well, well, we take it easy. I think uh, your customer will. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's huh? okay. Oh, nah. Let me look at the guy. It's okay. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Come true. I have found my route. My story has changed. No place like home. My mind is settled. It's like a dream. All my hard time is over. I have found my route. My story has changed. No place like home. My mind is settled. My mind is settled now. I love it. I lo <laughs> is, is this your house? Our house. Your house too. Because you are a member of the family. <laughs> uh, let's get it. Sweetheart, you know, I heard the sound of your car, so I came out. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. My son, Emeka, the one I told you about from my ex. Yeah, I had him from my ex. 
You remember? Uh, Emeka. Grace to my lovely wife. Yeah. Her children, your siblings, they are not yet back from work. They'll soon be back. Yes, nice to meet you, Auntie. No, sir. Mommy. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Nice to meet you, Mom. Welcome. Her reaction is like she doesn't like me. That's women. She's fine. Let's go in. It's like a dream. All my hard time is over. I don't know when you're fine or not. Well, look at you. Uh, while I got back from work, I saw Dad and a stranger, a boy. They were so up close, and Daddy was so happy. That's your father's son. What? They came back together today. Wow! <laughs> that means I'm happy. Mom, aren't you happy? That if that's my father's son. Then he must be the one dad always talk about. My missing brother. He's back. <laughs> that means you're a fool. What? A very, 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 very large big fool. Oh, why would you call me a fool? Of course, why not? Your missing brother. Did you kidnap him? I'm asking you, you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, no, why? You just told me. That he's my father's son. By extension, that makes him my missing brother that that talks about all the time. Why don't you should be happy? Be cute. Mom? Knock it out. Uh -uh. You have overstayed your welcome in my room. Gosh, Mom, you're walking me out of your house because I... Mom, Mom, please, uh, you should. I was fine before you came in. Now I'm having serious migraine. Get out. Mom? Get away. Well, you should be happy. My missing brother got back. We should all be happy and, you know, rejoice. Maybe organize some. Get out! Party for him. Yeah. Are you alright? Party for who? For my missing brother. I said, get out. No. Get away. I said, get away. Oh, and I'm not kidding! No. You and who? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, party, baby, baby. I love you, mom. You go, oh, what was that, my friend? worried about this uh, customer that is owing you. But why is he not picking my calls? Eh? Why? But I think she's not picking your calls because she don't have the money to pay you now. So I suggest you give her some time. Okay? You know the way the economy is now. You need to relax. You are too tensed about this thing. Relax so that you will not hurt yourself. Eh? Uh, uh, by the way, why is Emeka not back up till now? Who like him? Honey, I, I have already told you to stop worrying about you, Emeka. He's a full grown man now. Eh? He knows his way back home. You know, children of this day. In fact, I have already called him. He said he's walking around, playing around with his friends. Uh. I am worrying at all. I hope he's fine where he is. Very, very fine. He mm. said he's okay, that we should not worry. All right. Yes. Uh, you should also relax. Huh? If you make us say we should, I'm watching you just say. You turn so good. You should turn Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Huh? Thank you, my dear. Where are you? I went in search of my biological father and here I found him. 
What? What did you just say? Are you are you are you out of your senses? Chukwemeka, are you okay? What did I tell you about that man? Mom, please stop. I am not a king. I know what is good for me. Chukwemeka, listen. Just listen to me. We will talk tomorrow when I come. Tomorrow, kwa. I'll see tomorrow. Hey! Chukwemeka, oh. My people, my people. <laughs> our daddy, our daddy. <laughs> I'm so excited today. I'm so happy because today is a day of promises fulfilled. I am so excited if you remember some time ago I told you people that I have a son somewhere that one day definitely he must come back to us and that day is here and to the glory of God Almighty my son Emeka is here with us today. Um, Emeka, these are your siblings. Eh? Um, <clears throat> uh, let me start from the lady first, Ada, and um, Obina, our baby lawyer. And of course, Joker. Uh, well, I don't need to. <clears throat> I've already told your mom here about you, and um, she is your mom, my dear wife. Um, this is Emeka, your brother, my first son. So I want us to live happily as one family. Mm -hmm. um, in my absence, he is in charge. <laughs> That's enough. You've spoken enough. Uh, okay, okay. Well, so let me allow you to enjoy yourselves and be happy. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> America, my bro, I I want to say a special welcome to you because. We've been actually expecting you. Dad have told us so much about you. I you know at the point where we learned that we had a brother outside, we were so expectant. Uh, ouch. And we were so expectant and, you know, we were waiting for the day you would just walk in and, you know, I will see you. I'm so happy to have you. And, ouch, another celebration that we will we'll have will be on me. All views on me, trust me. Mm. And we will celebrate. And I have a lot of things to show you. Mm. A lot of things to show you. Mm. Welcome, brother. Thank you. You're welcome. Welcome, brother. Welcome once again. Okay. Cheers once yeah. again. Wow. Yes, it's uh, good to you? see you. I've heard so much about you. Thank you so much. So today, we are plus one in this family. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Cheers to that. for a celebration. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm so happy having a family like this. I never knew I had a family like this. Wow. You know, now that I know, I am so overwhelmed, you know. And the way you guys welcomed me, it's so amazing. <laughs> it's so amazing. I'm really so happy. As you can see, I'm just smiling all through. <laughs> I like them, everybody here. <laughs> Especially Mommy. No, 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 just, 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 just uh, oh, wait, say whatever mind. thing you want to say, don't wait, involve she's, me. She's not in her best of mood today. She had flat tire while coming back, so she's not. I didn't have any flat tire. No, 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 darling, take it easy, sweetie. Go ahead. Sorry. 
Thank you, sir. I welcome everybody. I, I, I thank everybody. I'm just so confident. I don't even know how to. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Um, <laughs> yeah, thank cheers. you. Cheers. As the baby of the house, her father's daughter, <laughs> I am officially saying welcome to you thank into you. our home. Thank you. My father already told us that in his absence, you were first. Yeah, thank you. So, I'm going to come down and wonder why it is so beautiful like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, finally, Emeka, uh, when are you packing in Oh, uh, very soon, as soon as possible. Uh, as soon as possible, please. We snap your back. That's okay. We can't be able to have you. And once again, cheers. 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 So, Chukwe Neka, after all my warnings to you, you still have the guts to go and look for that wicked man. To the extent of following him to his house to sleep over. Um, I don't understand you. I don't just understand you. What is wrong in, in me going to search for my own biological father? Eh? I've been living with you and your husband for a long time now. And no one cares to tell me that he is not my biological father. If not for uh, Auntie Flora, I, I, I wouldn't have known that I've been living with another man as my father. Mom, this, this is not fair. I'll drop him, ma. I'll drop my child. Okay, it's not quiet. fair. Be quiet. Keep quiet. What do you know about that man? Do you know what I passed through in his hand when I was living with him? Do you know? Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't have known. Yes, I asked him what separated you guys. He told me his own part of the story. Now I'm here. If you don't mind, can you tell me your own part of the story? Now, I've seen why that man told me that my father is richer than Chief Sopro. I've seen why. So you want to hear my own side of the story? Mom, I want to hear. I'm listening. Talk to me. I'm all ears. Fine. Before I got married to that wicked man, I was working in the bank as a bank manager. back already. Yeah. How are you? How about the contracts? Honey, why are you moody? Wow. Honey, you won the contract. You were supposed to be happy. Honey. Ah. Wow. Yes, I should be happy. Honey. I should be happy, but I'm not happy. Tell me, sweetheart, where is the money to execute this contract? The money involved is too much. Where on earth? Will I get this kind of money from? Honey, I thought they agreed to pay you 50% up front. What happened? <sighs> yes, they said they would give me 50%. But you know all these government contracts, a lot of people are interested in it. So many people out there are even ready to spend their own money just to get a contract. After which they will recover their money back. But the minister in charge of this contract said you can only pay 20%. A front. But I don't have the money. So what will I do? I met with him. I pleaded to give me some time to get the money. Which he understood with me. With me. He understood. I told him to give me some time to meet some of my friends. The only friend I met said he will help me. But he will take 70% interest. Just imagine. 70%? Yes. This is greed and pure wickedness. 70% for what? Honey. Please. This is the time I need you most. I need your help now. 
I need a loan. It's for our own good, please. Honey, I don't have the money right now. I don't. Hush. Honey, but you are the bank manager. You can do something, please. It's for our own good. I was just promoted about a month ago. Yes, I know. And besides, you do not have collateral to back up the loan. What do you want me to do? Yes, I know I don't have collateral, I know. But you're my wife and you're the bank manager. You can still do something for us. You should understand that I am not the only one to sign these papers. It has to pass through many tables. I mean, the accountant will sign, the admin manager will sign. It is not within my powers. Honey, seriously, I don't want to lose this contract. Seriously. Please, you, you, can, you can do it even without their consent. Honey, you know, I'm just coming back from work. Please. You have to give me a little time. Let me just wrap my head around something. Please. I mean, I think it's my excuses. <clears throat> Still doing here all alone. It's almost midnight. Just I'm worried about this contract. I don't want to lose this opportunity. You don't have to worry yourself. Can we go and sleep? How can I go and sleep? I don't think I can go and sleep. Like this opportunity that just came my way. Okay. When I get to the office tomorrow, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you very much. I'm so grateful. I just pray it turns out well. Oh, so, I think I'm going to now. Transfer the money to your account. Wait, 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 honey. What did you say? You will give me the money, honey. Oh my God! You, darling, I love you so much. I'm so, so grateful. God! You know what? I promise you, honey. I will make you proud. It's a promise. Hey, God. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. It's okay. Let me let me freshen up, okay? Wow, very good. All right. It's alright. I will join you soon. Okay. It's all right, go ahead, I'm all ears. Honey, honestly, I don't like what is going on. It's been eight months since you collected the loan from the bank, and you've not made any effort to pay the loan. Do you want to put me in trouble? Or is it because you know I am the manager, and you think nothing can happen? Besides, the government have paid you for the contract. What is stopping you from paying the loan? You are almost closing all your accounts in the bank. What is the problem? So that I've told you, relax. I will pay the money. Just that my hands are tied. Your hands are tied? And you're building houses everywhere in the city? That 
estate you are building, is it not for you, myself, and our children to live in? Yes, you have to understand that. Those estates, is for our own good. You know the nature of my business. I have so many dignitaries, governors, presidents. Name them. At least I want when they come around, they will feel relaxed. They will know that I have arrived. Yes. At the detriment of my job, what if I am transferred out of that branch and another manager comes in? What do you think will happen to me? Nothing will happen, baby. I said nothing will happen. Just relax. Besides, they have nothing to hold up. Yes. They have nothing to hold against you, right? I beg you, what's name? Honey, try and pay that money. I don't want a problem. And if the bank comes asking me for that money, I will take them around the city and show them all the houses and estates you have built. That's what I'm going to do. What did you just say? You dare not try that and listen very good. I want this to be the first and last time you call me and discuss this. I don't have the money. When I have the money, I will pay them. Don't provoke me. I've said it and I'm serious. After all the sacrifice? I've said it and I'm serious. Mecca. Yes, Auntie. Please go in with the baby. Okay. Is there anything else? Honey, I want you. You want me about what? I have been transferred to another branch. God. Just pray nothing happens to my child. When the new manager came to occupy my office, he discovered that I gave out loan worth millions of naira without collateral. And the money has not been paid back because the wicked man refused to pay. I was arrested and put in prison for one year and six months. When you were arrested, where was my father? Why wasn't he arrested then so he can come and pay up the loan? He traveled abroad three days before the arrest. And before he could come back, I was already in jail. Mm. So you were the one who helped in making him rich? Yes. And after the incidents in the village, between his mother and I. He said that I should pack my tents and go back to my parents' house, which I did, hoping that he would come for me later. But he never did. I didn't see him. Then I summoned courage and went to him to ask him why he treated me that way. All to see a lady that I was suspecting he was dating in his house. Then I fought the lady. You mean the lady he's living with now? Yes. Her name is Christy. Wow. Son, have you seen the reason I'm fighting? The reason I said you should not have anything to do with that man. He's evil and heartless. Mommy, it's okay. Your story was quite pathetic but you're the cause of the whole thing yes you know uh, in the other hands i don't blame you in helping your husband getting a loan from the bank yeah but if we check it well you are wrong okay um mom i can't uh, 
I can't do exactly what he asked me to do. You know, you actually said I, I, I shouldn't have anything to do with him. He's still my father. Yes. And he introduced me to the wife and the children as the first son of the house. So, so I, 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 can, I can do that, mom. No, I can't do that, mom. After hearing my story, after all I have just said now, you still have the mind to call that a woman your father. Do you want me to die before my time? Mom, please stop. Stop saying this. You can't just push me out there to another man who is not my biological father while my own biological father is still alive. Mom, can, that cannot be possible. Hmm. Chukwemeka, I can see that you are insane. On a meginisi kita. On a meginisi. But let me warn you. Do not allow your siblings, Amaka and Paul, to hear what you are saying. Because they will not forgive you. They will not. Don't trust them. For someone to look for or search for his own biological father is not a sin. Na ni bwa ni kwa. Or the possible. Tell me why God will not punish you. Tell me why he will ever forgive you in this life, Flora. You have succeeded in taking my son away from me to that wicked and useless man. After all the suffering my husband and I went through to train my son to the level he is today, all of a sudden we lost him just because of your stupidity. Because that is what you wanted. Let me remind you, in case you have forgotten. When America was little, I keep telling you, take America to his father. But we refused. You keep saying, Emeka is my son. Emeka is my son. You should be happy that I helped you to do what you couldn't do. You should be happy that the father accepted him as his first son. Look, I will never forgive you for what you have just done. I can never forgive you. Blood is thicker than water. You were still my sister. I just helped you to do what you couldn't do. Discussion is over. Flora, thank goodness, just thank your goodness for the love and honor I have for our late mother. If not, if not Flora, by now you would have been resting in the grave. You would have been sleeping in perfect peace. I'm telling you the truth. You have just dared me. Flora, you have just dared me. Huh? But my mom did what? For what? What the? What? Oh, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Mom, what is it? What? Auntie Flora called to tell me that you came to her house ranting and harassing her that you deal with that. What was her, what, what was her, 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 her offense? Because she told me and she showed me who my, who my biological father is? So she has just called you to tell you all sorts of nonsense. Just to create an enmity between us. For her to stand out to be the good person while I am the bad one. Mom, mom, mom don't talk like this. You shouldn't have done that. You should have, you should have thanked Auntie Flora for doing that. Because you that I know will not do that, despite what you said my father did to you. Eh? Mom, you should be thankful to Auntie Flora. She did the right thing. Mom, see, let me promise you something. You will always be my mother. Trust me. And your husband will still be my father. It's only one thing that will change. Hmm? 
he will stop being my father he, because I have my biological father now. And I will stop bearing his name. That's the only thing that will change. So what do I tell Amaka and Paul? What do I tell your siblings? How can I just wake up in a blues to tell them that Emeka, their senior brother, is no more the same father with them? Don't you know that this is enough reason for them to hate me? Hate me forever! No, mom. Please stop this. I don't like it. Okay, about Paul and Amaka. Tell them that I've gotten a job in a company and they gave me a house. And do you think they will just believe me like that? Mom, it depends. It depends on how you present it to them. Now I know the truth about myself. Oh, time. It could always be good. It doesn't matter how long it lives with mother chicken. Now I know who I be, son of a liar. I am so happy today. Very, 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 very happy. Do I cheers? Cheers. Yes. So don't think I'll give you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wait. So you're saying that that man, oh, I mean your father has accepted me to family. He accepted me, hugged me, embraced me, welcomed me into the family. Wow. He introduced me to the children and the wife. He did that. Not only as a son, but the first son of the family. Wow. So when he told his family, what did they say? They were all happy, except the wife who is going to come later. Of course, she has to. <laughs> Honey, I am really, really happy for you. Thank you. I'm so happy. Thank Glad you. you're happy now. Thank you. Ah, I'm, 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 I'm extremely happy now. I know. Mm. So, when are you going to Um, Maybe by next week, I need to put myself together. I need to arrange one or two things before I move in. That's good. I can't wait to see that happen. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> real fast, real soon. Real fast. It's going to happen. <laughs> and nobody bothered to let me know about it until it got to this stage. Why? Honey, please, I'm so sorry. Forgive me, please. Honestly, when this whole thing started, I never knew it would get to this. Because I thought my sister was joking. I saw the whole thing as a matrix. I never knew she meant every word she was saying. Anyway, I know that a day like this will come. Well, it's a welcome development uh, because we cannot keep a maker here forever. He is not my biological son. Honey, honey, you mean you welcome this development? Of course, I know it will come to this one day. And uh, where is a maker? Let me call you. Chukwu Emeka. Chukwu Emeka. Please come. Uh, Chukwu Emeka. I will not take much of your time. So readily so that I can go to bed. Your mother has explained to me everything that's going on. How the sister Flora made you to understand I'm not your biological father. And also took a step further to introduce you to your biological father. And uh, I think it's all a welcome development. My granddad is going to say that to put it in And there's a reason for that. Because when you know your roots, it gives you a lot of confidence. Also, attract blessing from the ancestors. Uh, I will only ask you for one thing. I know that very soon you move in and live with your biological father, which is natural. But don't forget your mother. She went through a lot to bring you up. And don't also forget your siblings. Okay? As I've said, I'm really happy for you. 
Now thank you for accepting this with faith. Not every man will endure this. Yeah, despite everything, your word of encouragement shows that you are a good man, you are a good father, you are a good dad, and no one will want to miss you. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for understanding. May God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. You are welcome. You can go and sleep, my son. Good night. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. What is it again? What is it? We cannot keep him here forever. He's not my biological son. Okay? What is bothering me is the father's wife. Christ is evil. I know her very well. Don't bother yourself about that. You have done a good job. You brought a maker up very well. There's no situation he cannot handle. He's no longer a kid. And God is in control. You know? She's been so annoying. What do you mean by so annoying? Mom, she is always tackling me. Oh, yeah, calm down. Ah, you're a girl. Mom, you said you wanted to see us. Of course. Well, I called you children for this meeting because there is something important I would like to tell you children as your mother. That will never deceive you lovelies. Now, are you sweethearts in support of this boy returning to this house? I'm talking about a mega. <laughs> Mom, what do you mean what we feel about a mega returning to this house? Is there something wrong? I mean, it's not like a mega has done anything wrong to us. Of course, we feel happy, we feel good. We've been chatting, playing, and, you know, catching up. Do you have anything against that? Yes, Chuka is right. Mom, the first day a Emeka came into this house, I could remember your countenance. I mean, your facial expression says it all. So what exactly is your take on this boy, Emeka? Please explain to us, Mom. I really have to understand. Mommy, the truth is that Obina is right. The day father brought him here and introduced him to us, your actions were never okay. It was never a welcoming one. And that made me to wonder that very day. And I'm still wondering because it's not making any sense to me. There is no issues here. And you're already trying to create one mom. You're already trying to bring a huge dispute amongst all of us, which is very wrong. Come to think of it, Mom, if, if Dad decides to share everything he has ever acquired in this lifetime amongst us, including you, you and I know that none of us will ever suffer, none of us will ever go hungry. So what are you on about? What are you dragging? Why are you trying to create animosity where there is none? I don't even know what we're discussing. No, wait, wait, are wait, you, Ada, are you, Ada, Ada, wait, wait, I'm coming right Ada? behind you. Ada? Just wait. Ada? Ada? Obina, you should be ashamed of yourself, zombie. Because I'm trying to save your children from this crisis that is about befalling you children ahead of time. And they are walking out on me, treating me like I'm not saying anything. It's all right. Mommy, stop it. Please stop it. What crisis? Just imagine the animosity you're creating in the hearts of these two. You, they don't deserve it. Mommy, can't we just live in peace and harmony? I don't get it. What are you warning us against? It's not like Emeka is a bad person. He's been good to us. I mean, he's my brother. Mommy, let's just live as one big happy family and leave these warnings of yours, please. I beg you. My goodness. 
I regret calling you Dine. Of course! You are my first son. My first love. My husband, mommy's husband. That's what I call you, idiot. Don't worry. When the time comes, eh? Chuka. <laughs> Don't say that I didn't warn you children. I was about transferring a huge amount of money to your account, but I would never do it again. Mom, you don't need to do that. Come on, Mom. You know how much I need that stuff to complete the project I'm doing. Who is laughing with you? You're laughing. If you try it, eh? If you dare laugh. Come on, get out! Mom, yeah. Mommy, transfer that money. You should be ashamed of your Mommy! Mommy, transfer that money. I don't worry, uh, I've decided that first thing tomorrow morning, I'm taking the maker to the site of the estate. That estate we're building for the federal government. You see, I want him to have a look at it and um, apprise situations there and then take over from me. You know, because uh, we must hand that over to the government by the end of the month. I wouldn't want it to look like the one I gave Choka. Choka messed up everything. He delayed the job. And the local government chairman has been calling me because he want to use that project for his re-election bid. The sugar wasn't forthcoming, only giving excuses. I don't know why that boy is so lazy. You see, but Emeka is very bright, very intelligent, very smart. Yeah, I would. You want to say anything, honey? Is there any problem? Of course. There is. Since you brought that stupid, useless boy, an imposter, into this family, introducing him as your first son, leaving my own son, Chuka. Just take a look at what you're saying. Chuka is lazy. Chuka is this. Emeka proactive. Emeka is a king. Emeka is a lord. Alpha and Omega. And you want me to be happy. And I want to tell you this day, you better send that boy away from this family. Renounce whatever thing you said. Chuka is your first son and not that imposter. If you don't send that boy away, there won't be peace in this house. I'm telling you this. Christy, you opened your mouth and called my son Emeka idiot. Did you not call my Chuka lazy? <laughs> Thank you for stepping your bounds. But I don't know what has come over you. I remember up initial. We discussed this thing. I told you I had a son from my first marriage. We all agreed that someday he's going to come back to us mm. and that you welcome him with open arms. And now, what has come over you? You advising me to send him back to his mother? Of course. Now, did he complain to you that he was uncomfortable staying with his mother? Why did you bring that big fool here? I'm asking you. I'm going to say this again. Now, let me repeat myself again. You better send that boy away from this family. Else I will make you and him to be uncomfortable in this house. I mean every word to the last letter. If you don't send Emeka out from this house, listen, I will turn my children against him. My brother Vincent. Brother. Welcome. Thank you very much. The reason I called you is about my wife. 
I don't know what has come over her. We had an agreement. When I married her, I told her that I have a son from my first marriage and that someday he is going to come back to us. We agreed. It was a deal. Now Emeka is back to us here. Ever since Emeka set his feet on this place, Christy has never allowed me to rest. It has been one day, one problem. One hour, one problem. She has been tormenting me. In fact, she practically brought down the roof of this house. I don't know her reason. So please help me. Ask her what has gone wrong. Well, Bro Wilson, I've heard what you said. Christy, I mean, you heard what your husband said. Is it true that you are against Emeka, his son? I mean, his first son coming back to this house? Is it true, Christy? Who just asked the question? Of here? course, I did that. You are asking me a question as yes. what? I'm asking you. Are you asking me the question as what? As a barrister, what? Oh, you brought Vincent to become your charge and bell lawyer to come judge me. Judge me now, let me see. All right. You, Christy? I know your plan. Hey, 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 you keep quiet. I'm talking. You? I know your plans. You people are planning against my children and I. But believe me, it will not work. I am not going to allow some idiot, some lunatic to come from nowhere. Claiming to be my husband's son. To eat from where he did not sow. It's not going to work. I labored so much with this man. And I would not allow some woman's son to come eat the fruit of my labor. It will never work. Point of correction, woman. You did not labor anything with my brother here, Wilson. In fact, my brother here made his money with Joy, his first wife. Oh, yes. Joy went to prison and also lost her job before they separated. So if there's anyone that wants to reap where she didn't sow, that person is you, Christy. Now, let me warn you. If anything happens to a maker, you will not like the tone of the music I will play for you. And let me tell you, it's not a threat. It is a promise. Are you threatening me? I'm not threatening you, Christy. It is a promise. My friend, keep quiet. Who are you saying that you should, you should Vincent, keep quiet? I said you should keep quiet. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Telling me, Jai went to the prison. She went to this. She went to that. It's a shame for a woman to go to prison. Maybe she went there because she was a prostitute or a nun robber. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I do not have your time, Olga. When the time comes, you will realize. Next time, get better person to come and threaten me, not this idiot. Rubbish. Brother Wilson, did you see this kind of insult from Christy? Listen to me, brother. I mean, if anything happens to Emeka, brother, you will not like what I will do to you. Vin, uh, don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. Look, I, I, I am in charge. Not, to, not she, she dare not dare me. Honestly, no, don't forget this thing you're saying, bro, uh, bro Wilson. That is what you always say. Before you know what's happening now, she'll calm you down. That was how she succeeded in scattering this family. I'm saying it now. If anything happens to Emeka, she will not like what I will do. You will not like it either.
take sir. I don't know how are you. I'm fine, thank you, sir. Sit down. Thank you. Well, um, uh, actually, I was busy upstairs with some partners before my son told me you are here. I decided to come and spend some time with you. Dad, sorry, without wasting any of your time, I would love to introduce her to you. Her name is Jovita. She's the girl I've been telling you about that I want to make my wife. We scooted together, served in the same place, and then um, we're planning. Oh, well, uh, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Uh, he told me you are Jovita. Yes, sir. Uh, good. So can you please elucidate your resume for clarity's sake? Okay, my name is Jovita Osakoi. From, I'm a daughter of Chief and Mrs. Ignatius Osakwe from Obosilno. I'm a banker. And um, if there's any other thing you want to know about me, you can. Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm, I'm OK, I'm OK. Um, uh, well, my son told me uh, both of you are planning to consummate your marital status. Yes, sir, by the grace of God. Uh, well, let me fall back to my schedule, sir. Thank My you. son will get back to you when we are done talking. All right, okay, thank you, sir. No, thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. But you said you wanted to tell me something. Oh, yes, um, uh, Emeka came here yesterday with the young lady. He told me he was his fiance. And I uh, said, let me tell you, because as a mother of the house, you're supposed to be in the now. So what are you insinuating? Well, I found the young lady, Wadi, and uh, she's from a good home. I so said, let's start making preparations for a heavy banquet, you know, his wedding. Yeah, I want it to be a talk of the town as my first son. <laughs> How about that? Can you hear yourself? So that's the reason you called me here? Christy, could there have been better reason other than this? Uh, you're supposed to be celebrating. Anyway, let me hurry up to work because I'm, I'm almost late. <laughs> Well, I'm uh, uh, already late for work. See you when I come back, sweetie. Since morning I came back from school, I haven't seen Remeka. No. Uh, your brother took Remeka is no more living with us. How? Why? Uh, you, you don't even have to bother yourself over, over this. Uh, he has gotten a job in a company. And that company offered him an apartment to, to save a, a cost and time for him. And nobody bothered to tell Paul and I. Mom, what is happening in this house? Eh? Okay, fine. Where is this company located? Me, I'm, I'm worried though. I don't know the place. I don't know the place honestly, but I, I, you know, I'm worried to know. And my dad? Your father don't know either. 
But Chukwe Mecca promised to come and take us immediately. Things are settled with him. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I will call him on phone. Uh, see, Amaka, you, you don't have to do that. You don't know the nature of the company where he's working. Don't call him so that you don't land him into trouble. Mom, I will call my elder brother on phone to know if he's fine or is he working at army camp. I have to call him to know how my brother is faring. But mom, he somehow... Mom, <coughs> Oh, All right, in the first place, I'm going to apologize for not coming, you know, to visit you as it should. But that's because, you know, circumstances beyond my control. However, I called you to come here because of what is happening, which if we don't handle, probably is going to escalate and when it does it's going to affect every living creature in Obaka's family are you threatening a family as big as Obaka's family does it look like I'm threatening you people I am not so with what a statement if it will make you happier we run so you can say whatever you want to say. Okay. Mercy, are you aware that your brother, my husband, brought in an imposter to our matrimonial home? <laughs> That's by the way. He brought in this young man and introduced him to us as his first son. He didn't end there. He also wants to give this young man a portion in our company. He also wants to give him huge amounts of money for him to start up his own business. And also, he wants to marry a wife for the same imposter. My question is messy. Are you aware? I'm sorry if I may ask. What is the name of this imposter? His name is Emeka. Can I ask you a question? I'm listening. Before you met my brother, was he married or not? Well, he was married then. With or without a child. Come on, Mercy. <laughs> you are not a barrister that I know too well. You are just my husband's sister. Say whatever thing you have to say. I know you won't ask her this because you already know the truth. You just want to cause trouble. This boy you are referring to as an imposter is my brother's first son. He was already married with a child of about two years and some months. So how come he's an imposter in his own father's house? This boy you are referring to is the heir to my brother's wealth, to everything that belongs to my brother. Get that into your thick skull. And let me remind you, you have no rights whatsoever to call him that or send him out of this house. If you do, you have me to contend with. Get that into your text call. Ah. Oh. I get it. <laughs> I get it now. All of you are trying to impose this imposter on me in this house. For him to come eat the fruit of my labor. <laughs> Mercy, it will never work. Your labor, you say. Mm -hmm. What do you labor for? Because you met my brother, a rich man. He was already made before you met him. 
And the woman you're talking about is the one that labored for everything that you came in here and sit on. She labored for everything. She went to jail and also lost her job in the bank. And now you are calling her son an imposter. What am I sitting here for? Exchanging words with you when you are the real imposter. Shame of yourself. Clap hands for yourself. You should be excited that a woman made your brother to be rich. Shame on you people. As long as I live, I will not allow that boy to eat the fruit of my labor. Rubbish. Where are you both going dressed like this on a, on a weekend? Oh, I forgot to tell you, we are traveling to Abuja. We have made a fasting tomorrow morning. So, oh, soon be back. Hey, but, but Dad, I'm supposed to go with you. Like, I'm supposed to attend the meeting too. Uh, well, the meeting is for my first son and I. We have a document to sign. Yes. So we'll be back. But, 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 but Dad, uh, relax. I'll see you when I come. Okay? Are you surprised? This is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. And what do you mean by that? You are surprised, Abby, with what is happening. Your father just left you his first son and drove out with an intruder. He's practically shifting everything to that intruder, Emeka. Open your eyes. Open my eyes. What, what, what exactly do you mean by that? What is going on? I'm confused. Hello, Chukwe Neka. I'm not fine. I'm not fine at all. What have I done to you, Chukwe Neka? Eh? Why do you want to send me to an early grave? Oh, Guinea. Since you left this house to your so-called father's place, you have no bother to call on us. You have no bother to call us on phone. Not even to check on us. Or the man. Now your siblings have started asking questions. Abu what? What are you doing in Abuja? Please hurry. Hurry and come back. We want to see you. Even if you don't want to see us, we want to see you. Ah, 